Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. It's a plant haul, y'all. Check it out. I am so happy. I got so many plants that I've been looking for. I can't wait to share them with you. My name's Soleil and I am gardening here in Michigan in zone 5B and I just love sharing and hearing about some of the things that you're doing, some of the plants that you guys have been picking up recently. I saw quite a few of you took advantage of uh, seeing the sales that I had done a quick shorts on. So, all right, let's get started. So we're gonna do something slightly different today. After each plant is when we're gonna show you the tag so that you can see all of the information that I talk about. So this here is a Persian Blue and this is cat mint and so what is awesome about this one is that it's a blue color compared to some of the more I would say lavender color or purple color blooms that you might get out of others and the cool thing about this one is it stays really small so this is the Persian blue cat mint and it is a perennial and it takes full sun and I'm actually thinking about planting this one right over here where I planted some of my uh, yarrow the other day and planting this in front of it because this stays really small. It only gets 14 to 18 inches tall, but it does get 18 to 30 inches wide. So it does grow really low and wide. And I think that will make a really nice cover for the garden bed there. It is extremely hardy. This one is hardy down to negative 40, which I believe is zone three. So that's pretty awesome as well. It's a very water-wise plant. It does well in drought conditions, which, which is why I am looking at planting it in the place that I am. Again, this is the Persian Blue Cat Mint, and this is by Monrovia. All right, next up, I have another cat mint. This one is by Proven Winners, and this one is a little bit bigger, but I love this one. I have a few of these already, and I divided one this year, but not enough to really spread around. So I'm excited to have another one. As you can see, this one's blooms are that lavender that I was just talking about, and not so much of the blue that the Monrovia plant has. But this one is gorgeous. This is the Cat's Meow. They both have nice, uh, lovely scented foliage so that's another thing that I love about them when you run your hands through them or you're trimming them back uh, they are just lovely to smell you can also make some tea from the leaves if you want and they are prolific bloomers so this one is also a full sun plant this one gets about 20 inches high so it's bigger and about 36 inches wide so I like this one because it blooms starting in early summer and it goes all the way through fall uh, some of mine are still having some small blooms on them right now. So that is absolutely amazing. And um, I'm excited to put some more of this into my garden. All right, next up, also in the lavender color family here, we have denim in lace Russian sage. So this one also has that lovely bluish silvery foliage and this one is a summering plant that does mostly um, its best in full sun. It can take a little bit of part sun, especially if in your, maybe you're in a hotter climate and you have longer days. But this one really is beautiful towards the mid to late end of summer and it grows about 34 inches wide and about 32 inches tall. So it's it's kind of a nice mound, but it is an upright habit in terms of its growth. I have quite a few of these in my garden right now. This one also smells really good when you're rubbing your fingers on it up or you're up against it. It almost reminds me of lavender a bit, but a little bit of bergamot also it's just it smells so awesome i love having fragrance in the garden so these are hardy in zone four to nine all the way down to negative 30. so a really good hardy plant and many people could even probably use this in pots This is the Pugster Blue Butterfly Bush, and I love it. I've got three other in my yard right now, and I'm looking forward to putting this one in as well. It really brings the pollinators in, 
It's hardy down to zone 5, up to zone 9, and it is a silvery foliage with a blue to purple type flower with a slight orange hint in the middle of each of the little flowers. And it's a prolific bloomer. It likes full sun. It just keeps going and going and going. And I just love the way that the blue flowers look next to that silvery foliage. Next up, another small shrub. This one's from Monrovia, and I love this. This is a full sun shrub also, and it is the Concord Japanese Barberry. And I like this one because it stays dwarf. I have two of these in my yard already, but the color on them is simply magnificent. I love how they stay this color for most of the year, so foliage can have such a dramatic impact within your garden, and I love to play with color. Now this one is hardy down to zone four and up to zone eight and it will grow 18 to 24 inches tall and wide so it really maintains this nice mounded habit there's not much in terms of pruning or trimming that you need to do it's a little bit like the ronco food dehydrator you just set it and forget it but it looks awesome you guys so i got two of these Next up, another shade plant that I have for great color foliage. This one is a hookera, and this one is the Mahogany Monster. Now you guys know if you follow my channel, I've got a woodland garden where I've been putting the Mahogany Monsters, so I'm super excited to have these in my garden. You won't believe the price that I got on these. All of these plants that you're seeing right now were 75% off. And if they were on clearance already, they were 75% off, and then after that price, they took the clearance price. So some of them were incredibly cheap. Normally, this one, it would be $9.98. I got it for $2.50, so I picked up five of them. They're not in super amazing shape, but they're going to grow. They're going to be beautiful. So, um, yeah, I love these. These are sun and shade plants, so they're super versatile, and they have this magnificent color. The leaves are huge. I mean, look, they're the size of my hand. And again, this one is called Mahogany Monster and it's hardy in zones 4 to 9. And it doesn't get very big. It grows to about 16 inches tall and maybe about 20 to 24 inches wide. So it's a gorgeous plant. Can't wait to add some more of these into my landscape. Next up, another plant for the shade that I got. This one is a Proven Winners Shadowland Autumn Frost. I love these. You guys also know that in my woodland area where I've been putting these mahogany monsters, I've been putting these Autumn Frost and I didn't have enough of them. So I found that these, when they're regularly $15.98, I think these actually were like $6 something, maybe even a little bit less. So I picked up two of these, and uh, the other one I actually have already planted. I divided it. I got at least two plants out of that, maybe three, I can't recall. But uh, this one is gorgeous. It starts out by coming out with some light yellow, and it has the striping on it, and then it fades to a creamy white. And this is called, again, the Shadowland Autumn Frost, and it's good in part shade to shade, so it can take a little bit of sun and it grows about 12 inches high and 24 inches wide. And it is very hardy. This one goes down to zone three and up to zone nine. So this is an excellent one to grow in pots. I grow it in my front pot with my boxwood and I've overwintered it successfully just fine. Awesome plant. Okay, next up we've got another one from Proven Winners. You guys, I got this one for about $2.50 also. This is awesome. This is the Fun and Games Hot Scotch. This is a Foamy Bells, also called a Hookerella. And I'm just gonna apologize. We have a bit of wind today. 
it's gusty from time to time and then it just completely goes away. So this is for part shade to shade and it definitely colors up differently depending on how much light it gets. So again, if you don't like the color of a hookara or a hookarella or a tiarella, move it a little bit, change up the lighting situation and you might like it even more. This one is Hardy from zones four to nine. Look at the way this glows. This is the Aurelia Sun King. I got two of these. They were $3 each. Quite a bargain. So I've already planted one of them. These are going to go in my way back garden under the canopy of the honeysuckle bushes. They are really good in shade and they just brighten up an area. So I'm excited to have these. And this one did not come with a tag. I think they're hardy down to zone four, but um, somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that's about where they're at. So beautiful shade plant, doesn't get too big, but it is just a wonderful addition. It does have some very small flowers that it gets on it, but they're pretty insignificant. This is really primarily grown for the foliage. Okay, I'm really excited about this rose and the reason being I have one of these already and it's definitely one of my favorite roses. This one is called Grandma's Blessing and probably if I talk about any of my roses I might say that but I love the color of it. It's this gorgeous pink color and we'll show you a copy of the tag so you can see the picture. It also has these really pretty uh, rose hips on it. Let me see if I can find one. Take a look at this rose hip. I mean, they're really big, so you can leave them on and have some great fall and winter interest. Okay, these love full sun, but I'm growing mine right now probably in part sun, and it's doing just fine. So I'm going to put this right near that, I believe. It does like to stay moist, and it repeat blooms throughout the season, which is fantastic. It has gorgeous foliage on it as it starts to grow and puts out new foliage, and it grows two and a half to five feet tall and three to four feet wide. So it is a fairly decent sized shrub rose. Um, it, it isn't super small, it's not a carpet rose, and it does have hybrid tea shaped buds. So it is beautiful, but it's very resistant to disease, which is another thing that I really look for in my roses because I don't like spraying. It's hardy from zones five to nine. Okay, this is the biggest shrub that I got. This is a double play doozy spirea. And I got this one because it was on clearance for $6.25. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. So I have one of these already and I love it. It's a repeat flowering shrub. It has these deep, deep pink, some people call them red, but they're definitely like a deep pink bloom and it just continuously blooms throughout the season. In addition to that, the new foliage when it comes out, which you can't see right now, it's a light, um, it's a very showy red actually. And we'll show you the tag so you can get a sense of what the color is. But again, this is the double play doozy and it likes to be in sun or part sun or part shade. So it's really quite a versatile plant and I found that it grows really well here. This could be a container plant also if you need something for a large container because it grows and is hardy in zones 3 through 8. So really, really hardy plant. Um, this one gets to be, let's see, how tall does it get to be? Two to three feet tall and wide. So it maintains a nice shrubby form. This is probably about how tall it's going to get, maybe a little bit wider. And it seems to maintain its shape pretty well, maybe more so with more sun. Um, in the shade, it might need a little bit of trimming to maintain its shape because sometimes things get a little bit leggier. 
but it is a really adaptable plant, so I'm excited to have this one. So I got two of these container plantings and I'm really excited about it because look at this boxwood. It is so variegated. This is the boxwood golden triumph. And I think this is really going to brighten up whatever space that I put this in. I have never grown this one. I have quite a few different kinds of boxwood uh, and it's just cool to get another one to try. In addition to that, it does have some small violas within the planter and it has this black out coral bells. So this is another hookara that I have not tried before. It's called black out. And all of these plants came together. There's also some creeping Jenny that was planted in here, but I don't want to get that into my yard. I'm afraid it might be invasive and take over and it's difficult to get out. So I'm going to really take these out of the container. They're only hardy to zone five, which is my zone. So I can't keep them in the container. But these are really nice containers and they're matching so i am going to put these um on some stairs i think or something like that i think they'll be really pretty and i got both of these for 15 dollars each so an amazing deal i couldn't have even gotten a boxwood for 15 dollars. so super awesome and I think if there's anything else I would say about these is just it's going to be so much fun to get them into the garden. Okay, last but not least, here is my big fall planting of Kukura. Now I didn't plant this, I got this as a combination planter and it actually has a pretty pot that it's in. It looks gorgeous. These were $8.75 and there's three different types of hookara in here. So I got two of these. So let's just kind of turn this. And we'll start up here at the top. This is the goji berry hookara. I already have some of these. Um, they definitely color up a little bit pinker, I think, the more sun that they have. And this one is really quite good in shade, part shade, part sun. And it does like to be a little bit more moist, I think, but um, more so with more sun. Also in this container, you'll see one of my favorites, which is the bilberry hosta, which is up front here. It's the more maroon one that just glows and I find that it just looks lovely next to so many different things. So all of these are going to be hardy in zone 4 to 9 and they can take some sun or some shade so they're quite versatile and I just love hookara. Then the final one that I have in here is called the mulberry corbels and this one is a new one to me. I don't have the mulberry so it's a little bit of a deeper color that has a bit of a silverish sheen on the top of the leaves so I'm excited to try that one as well. Well, thanks for joining me for the plant haul today. I sure hope you liked it and found some plants that you might want to try in your garden. I hope you get out in your garden a little bit longer while the fall is still here. We'll see you next time. Bye!